All right, today I want to talk about parenting slash grouping. And when I first started in Blender, I found this to be kind of a confusing thing. So maybe it's confusing to you and maybe this will clear things up. We can group objects in Blender and that's just a matter of selecting the objects and grouping them. Control G would be grouping. But in this situation, grouping is not going to work for us because what I want to do is I want to group this lamp in with the table so that when I move the table, the lamp goes with it. And anything else that we'd want to put on this table, we would want to have move along with the table. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to parent this table. And once again, so when I move this table, everything's going to move along with it, which is kind of like grouping. So that's what I found a little bit confusing. So how we parent objects or link objects is we select them. And the last object that we, these are considered children of a parent and then of a grandparent. So it's kind of like every step down or every group down is going to be like a generation. So we have these selected and the keyboard or the hotkeys for that is control P to make it apparent. And we'll say, yes, we'll make that apparent. Now when I select that grandparent and I go to move it, it's going to move the grandparent, the parent, and the children. And that's what we want. It's like a group. It's like a family. And that's the way things should be. The grandparents should always have control over the parent and the parents should have control over the children. Makes sense. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to try to group this lamp. And the thing that we want to do is we want to select everything. So I'm going to try this. We'll see if it works. We'll select everything. So we have everything selected. And then I'm going to shift, right click on the actual lamp, the base of the lamp. So I want to make that the parent. And then we'll go down, well this time we'll hold spacebar and we'll go to the parent menu and we'll say set as object and then we'll see if it worked. We'll select on the cube and we'll go to move it and sure enough we were able to group slash parent all these objects into the lamp. Alright, so now we need to parent. So we have parent and grandparents and children and everything like that in this lamp. So now we need to, we have this group, we have the elder of this group, and now we need to parent it with the elder of this group. So we're going to select this elder. Maybe that's what we need to say, elder. And then shift right click this elder, and then we'll hold down tap spacebar and we'll say parent menu set and we'll see that our line connects those two and now if I go to select this elder and move it you'll see that I can move it around that table and drop it right where I need to and we can look at these in top view so if I went right in the center of the table and we'll make it touch the table. Now if I select this elder and go to move it, everything moves together. So it's like grouping, but it's more like parenting. <laughs> go figure. Alright, so I think that's it. We'll work on this a little bit more. I want you to work on it and get comfortable with this. Uh, this will greatly help you in your room environment. So 
Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.